I am actually going to work. I'm in the elevator at my home. Okay, trust me, my makeup looks better than this, but yeah. So I'm getting to work. And actually, I have to go shopping for uh, you know Indian wear for some of our guests who are coming from the US. So I'm going to do that today I'm in the basement. And then in the evening from work, I have to go to this screening. So if my phone battery lasts, then I will vlog a lot more. Hopefully, if I remember, that is because I have a shit ton of work and I just keep forgetting to vlog. But yeah, like this month is so, so, so hectic with work and stuff. But uh, yeah. Okay, like I said, my makeup doesn't look as bad as what it looks. It doesn't look fine. Amazing. So, I'm here at the signal and it's going to take me another 8 minutes to reach work. And like I was saying, we have the screening today and hoping to see uh, Kirti Suresh. Uh, it's the only reason I agreed to go for that. But uh, not a big fan, but I think she's cute. So yeah, I'll take you around. So I actually took a change of clothes and changed my outfit uh, in my office gym and got to the venue and the venue is like super lit. I really really like the setup. It was like such a cozy setup. Um, actually I'm doing this voiceover a bit later and I'm kind of sick so if my voice is a little weird then you may have to excuse me for that but I really wanted to get this vlog up so this was the setup and they actually said lawns but I don't think that was possible. Um, and we had a host, we were waiting for Kirti Suresh. Kirti, Suresh. So after that, we were asked to get on stage. Actually, we were sponsored by a brand um, to attend the event. So they wanted us on stage because they wanted some pictures. And then after we got on stage, they actually told us we had to dance. But I was like so clueless. I was not sure if I was going to dance. But they also said no selfies or like no selfies with her. So we did not click any pictures. And after the event, I got back home and I spent my Friday and Saturday at my parents' place. So I just went to my mom's garden and just spent some time there, took some videos over there of all of her um, plants. And then I decided to get back to my apartment and I got stuck in traffic on Saturday night for about three hours, three straight hours because it rained like crazy in Hyderabad that night. I have not seen so much rain. The following day was Sunday. I was actually invited to an event, but I was not sure if I would go. But then it was quite sunny the next day, although it rained so much. So I was uh, invited to this Magnolia Bakery, which had recently opened in Hyderabad on the 14th. So this was a little before the 14th. They had this um, cupcake icing workshop, which I was invited to. So I headed there. And Yeah, so this is just one of the cupcakes that I learned to ice and then there were a bunch of other people. It was such a fun session. Actually, some of my friends joined a bit later and they're right here actually. So I finished my session, but I was just helping them click pictures and all of that. And we had a huge spread of cupcakes and, you know, their banana pudding and, um, you know, cookies and all of that. It's a must try. Um, you should definitely try it out.
so that was my sunday all done back to monday back to the most hectic week uh, actually we were going to start an event on tuesday so we as a volunteers team we had to catch up on monday so this is what we were trying to discuss the last things to be done the last mile before we hit it off the next day uh, there was a lot of things to be done still and uh, you know we were trying to um, delegate work to everyone so that everything falls in place the next day because we were having guests from our uh, overseas offices coming down to meet us and uh, there was a lot to be done So this was one of the art um, pieces that we had uh, commissioned from some of the art uh, design people that we have. So um, a design intern actually helped us with this. One of his seniors had actually painted this out for us and it was so, so, so beautiful. So actually they brought it to the office and then they were trying to fix it in on the wooden frame. So that is what they were doing here. These guys were here in the office literally all night and they had to fix it all up and it looked so beautiful once it was all done. Uh, if I can find the artist, I will tag them in the description. So the next day was upon us and we were all heading to work. And I had the opportunity to actually style some of our leaders in Indian wear. So I actually sourced these sarees from Soch and I got them tailored from Tailors in in like one day and they did such a fabulous job. Uh, I actually gave them a document on how to actually measure themselves and all of that and they did such a fabulous job uh, let me know how did i do and then we had a surprise for them where we had these autos decorated um, for them so that they could ride from the hotel to the office and they absolutely loved their experience actually i was a little skeptical about this because they had some of them had just landed and we were putting them through all of this but they absolutely enjoyed it and i was like so thrilled that they were such great sports that i did thoroughly they actually felt like it was such a warm welcome and that was our intention And then we hit it off for the day. We had a bunch of sessions lined up. I had a lot of things to do as well. So this is the whole team. And this was probably uh, the most number of people that have come into office uh, since we started coming back to the office. And then I had the privilege of conducting this makeup workshop. Uh, actually, our theme for this event was creativity. So um, people in my office actually recognize what I do outside of work. And, uh, you know, a lot of people actually requested me to do this. And uh, I took a while to actually agree to do this because I was a little shy. I was not sure how it would fit into my workplace and all of that. But a lot of people convinced me that it would be a great, great, great session. And it turned out to be so great. I'm so so thankful for this opportunity that my workplace actually recognizes what I do outside of my work and they feel like that can add value to um, you know other employees as well and uh, it was such a fun session I was actually so 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 tired but then when I was doing the session I felt so um, like all my energy just came back to me because this is what I love doing and uh, yeah the session was such a hit um, among a lot of people A lot of people actually gathered at one screen to watch my workshop and this was so thrilling and thanks to my friend who actually recorded this, they were actually discussing all of what I was teaching. And moving on to the next day, I actually did not get to vlog a lot on the next day because there were like back to back sessions and there was a lot of things to do. I just got this mad clip of Josephine hanging out with me and then we took some pictures as well. Hi guys, so welcome back to the vlog. It is the second day of the summit. I'm actually heading. We are uh, okay. We finished the summit. It is done. The whole conference is over. So, uh, but the second day evening today we are having a party, and uh, so I'm just heading to the venue because we have like a small photo booth set up there. I'm just gonna go check out, uh, you know, how it's going, whether it's set up and all that. Then I'm gonna go home, dress up, change into my party outfit and get back so i'm quite excited i have no idea how this vlog is going to turn out because this morning we had a couple of sessions and i didn't vlog that uh, but uh, I, oh yeah i'm just here at the venue and 
let's see what goes on. Finally, the party was done and this was my makeup. I love how my makeup turned out. I'm not going to show you the outfit. Actually, it's a very, very cute outfit. But I'm planning to wear the same outfit for my birthday. So maybe I'll show it to you then. Back to work again the next day. We had some more candid sessions with our leaders who were here. And then I got back home and I had some more calls. And this was like not even the end of the week. I had to go back to work the next day because we had another external summit uh, for in which some of our leaders were taking part as well. And we were also a uh, part of it. Some of my colleagues were speaking as well. So we had to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of things that go on in the background. That's my friend Garima. Uh, she was one of the... Um, moderators and she was such a great host she's like so 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 poised i love the way she handled herself and and after that we had this energizer session it was by conducted by this artist uh, she goes by the name soul rush and uh, we had this painting quick painting session where we, they were given caps that they could paint and she was um, teaching us splatter one-on-one -on -one techniques and everybody literally enjoyed themselves i was not painting because i was volunteering and i also was wearing a white blazer but everyone thoroughly enjoyed the session and it was so fun to watch everyone uh, just go back to being a child yeah i'm not taking a photo i'm taking a video So yeah, that was my outfit for the last day and that was the end of the event and that was the end of the week at work. Hi guys, welcome back to our vlog. Today I'm going to go to this Meta uh, Creator Day event um, and I'm just heading out. I forgot to vlog and I was at home. So I'm just vlogging while I'm waiting for my elevator. It takes forever for my elevator to come down and really I'm just look at this view. Meta Creator Day is the extension of the Born on Instagram program that uh, the Meta uh, people had launched earlier. Uh, I had been to their first event that happened in person before COVID and now they had this. I think there were a bunch of others that happened before but I didn't know about them so I got to know about this so I wanted to go there. Uh, in fact, the vibe was great. Everything was great. There was Niharika, Rashmika and uh, a bunch of other creators as well but the sad part was I had actually forgotten to charge my phone and I was already feeling kind of sick that day i already had a cough uh, and i left this place early so i got clips from whatever i could basically i got to listen to manish chopra's um, uh, address and then i got to listen to niharika and rashmika have their banter and then i had to leave so i just thought i'll add some clips here it was a fun event all in all but i just couldn't stay for the after party so i don't have that fun bits in this vlog but yeah Mike, it's 
my present from me to you. Okay, first of all, before we get into the fun and games, uh -huh. one question. So you have such an engaged community. Uh -huh. North, South, East, West, everywhere we go. Okay, so we know your secret weapon. What is your secret sauce? How do you do this? Secret sauce, sir. I think national crush it. I'm at least to walk a village. So yeah guys that's all for today's vlog i forgot to film an outro but this is me i am so sick and it is thursday today i am filming this today i didn't even realize um but my fever is not so much but i have a severe cold and cough i had a severe fever a couple of days ago but now it's better but yeah that's all for this vlog and i will see you guys in my next video pretty soon bye, -bye.